Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 6th of June 2022. And the biggest news of the day, if you're here in the UK at least, is this vote of no confidence for UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson that uh, is going to be happening tonight. I'm sure if you're in this country you know all about it, but for our friends overseas, basically it's this whole party gate thing where Johnson was found to be breaking lockdown rules a couple of years ago and he lied to Parliament about it and it's created a lot of anger and therefore the uh, Conservative MPs have finally decided to have a vote of no confidence in him uh, or some of them have at least. So that is going to be happening tonight at, uh, well, guess what time? Yes, you've guessed it, 6pm. 6 6pm 6 on the sixth day of the sixth month. So I uh, wonder why they chose that uh, particular date and time. Uh, sort of, if you know, leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. But uh, I think we all know the, re uh, the answer to that, don't we? But anyway, this vote of no confidence is happening tonight. And people seem to think that uh, Johnson will probably get through it okay. Um, in fact, the bookmakers have got uh, the odds that he'll be fine with it as one to five odds on. And it's about uh, three to one uh, that he'll lose. So, you know, even if you don't agree with gambling or sort of not interested in it, I like to see what the big bookmakers are uh, saying because, of course, they've got uh, a financial interest in getting predictions right, haven't they? So uh, it's a pretty good, safe bet that they've done their research um, to the nth degree uh, to be able to come up with that. So it seems like he's likely to sort of be okay. And although I don't like Johnson, I think I've said many times in these videos that uh, I don't like him. He's the worst uh, prime minister, minister we've ever had. And that uh, I'd dearly love to see him sort of booted out. But on the other hand, who's going to replace him? Apparently the likes of uh, Gove and Jeremy Hunt are the uh, front runners. And would you honestly want uh, either of those globalist puppets uh, kind of in charge? Um, no, I don't think so. And it's hard to see who else would uh, come in. Obviously, it wouldn't be Rishi Sunak because he's... Uh, been similarly implicated along with Johnson on the whole party gate thing. So unless some really great outsider came in, I think it's really a case of better the devil you know, um, you know, to use that old saying. And I said it a few months or a few weeks ago that we probably are going to be better off sticking with Johnson for the time being at least uh, because there's no way he could implement another lockdown not with this whole party gate stuff uh, over his head and it seems to me that uh, the likes of Toby Young who's editor of or one of the editors of the Spectator publication which is like a, a political publication here in the UK uh, he seems to agree with me on that and he said in an article today that he wrote that uh, again we're better off with Johnson staying in charge if we're kind of uh, lockdown sceptics because uh, him imposing another one would be absolutely politically impossible for him. So for that reason and that reason alone uh, I am going to be sort of hoping that uh, he doesn't get defeated in this uh, vote of no confidence and that he comes through it. Uh, not because I've got any love for the man, but because I don't think we'll be seeing any more lockdowns if he stays in. Whereas if one of these other idiots 
especially the likes of Gove or Hunt come in. Who knows what's going to happen? And I'll just finish this with the observation that, again, this vote of no confidence thing is happening for all of the wrong reasons. Uh, basically, it's all about uh, the breaking of lockdown rules, um, which, OK, you know, uh, he shouldn't have done that and he certainly shouldn't have lied to Parliament, but I would have been a lot happier if um, this vote of no confidence was down to the fact that uh, he actually implemented uh, the lockdowns in the first place and caused so much damage to the economy or that he kind of uh, insisted and rolled out a certain treatment program and he's now facing a no vote of no confidence because that's been found to be uh, horrendous uh, but no nothing like that it's just a few people are upset that he, act, that he actually broke the lockdown rules. So it's all for the wrong reasons anyway, I think. And, well, uh, and I think if he does go, we would just be seeing someone who is a lot worse than him getting in. So uh, I probably won't be back tonight if uh, it goes the way I'm expecting. Uh, well, it'd be... So not really any point in doing so uh, and unless there's any other earth shattering news I'll be back tomorrow to reflect on whatever the result uh, is tonight so I'll see you tomorrow Tim from Fair Play now thanks for watching <laughs>